Hi guys! Welcome back to my channel! If you're new, hello and welcome to my channel! Hello from Taipei! So today is Sunday and I'll be painting a waterfall scene. You know, I love painting the waters. I love painting nature as most of you already know. So today we'll be painting another waterfall painting and I'll be linking in the description box below some of the waterfall paintings that I've done in the past so that you can choose among them which one you like to paint along with me. And for today's painting tutorial, we'll be using the following colors. We have red, lemon yellow, primary blue, titanium white, burnt sienna, and black. So I'll be sketching first this subject, but as you can see here, my canvas is already painted dark green it's it's just a combination of green blue and um, black and a little bit of white so this background actually this is not really intentional for this painting uh, this canvas paper I painted over uh, this color with this color because uh, for my previous painting tutorial I was supposed to do a black background but it turned out to be a little more green so I changed my canvas and just reserved this canvas paper already painted on uh, for another painting tutorial and I think the painting today will be appropriate for this background so I want you to first background your canvas whatever background whatever material that you're using I'm using a canvas paper A3 size a3 so this is already backgrounded with this color because we'll be doing some waters and reflections of the trees and moss and um, plants and grasses and this is perfect the color is perfect for the underpainting okay so don't worry if your um, canvas paper is still blank or is still plain white you can pause this video and uh, background first your material okay so let's begin sketching now i'll be using a small a small brush for sketching just to let you know where things are gonna go and for the sketch i think i'll be using my white okay so that you can see it against the background i'll be getting my white okay so we'll, we'll be we will be painting some um rocks here okay so a lot of this will be covered with the rock colors and rock-like brush strokes. Okay. All right, just like that. Okay, <laughs> very easy. So this will be waters. This will be the bottom portion will be the waters. There will be a lot of rocks going on right here. And the waters will be right here, like that, okay? So that you have an idea where the waterfalls is. I'm not placing it in the middle. I feel like placing it in the middle is super common. So we're not gonna do that. All right, and there will be some rocks going on uh, over here. Okay, just like that. Big rocks. All right. Okay, so let's begin now. This is just to give you an idea where things are gonna go. This is basically abstract. Okay, now I'm gonna change my brush. I'm gonna switch to a bigger brush. Okay, like this size. I don't know what size this is. As you can see, my brush is already ruined. You cannot really see the details on it. Okay, I'll be getting my black and burnt sienna. And I'm just going to paint over the background. So we'll be using our palette knife later. Get your palette knives ready. We'll be using it a lot for the rocks especially, and for the waters as well. Okay. 
All right. And we're going to do the same thing on the left side. I'm just going to paint over the sketch lines because um, we don't actually need those sketch lines. Just remember where you place things. So I'll be painting over the water portion because we need some depth right there. We just don't need the water. We also need some depth. All right. So that will be the underpainting for the rocks. And I'm gonna, okay, wash my brush out. I'm gonna wash my brush out, or maybe not. I'm just gonna get my yellow to get some green color. So you can see here, mixing the black and the yellow gives me that greeny color. But I want some dark green, so I'm gonna add brown or burnt sienna and black, and maybe blue as well, to give me this greeny color. Maybe more black because I want some dark green. And I'm just gonna go and make some greeny colors up here to suggest some forest. I'm gonna get my yellow and probably white. Remember that we're still under painting. Although my back, my canvas paper is already backgrounded with that bluish greenish color, I still have to relayer it with some sort of depth because uh, yeah, it's necessary um, to re-background it. Okay. Alright. Okay, I'm gonna get my black. I'm doing some abstracts abstract here. You know when we do the underpainting, we usually do abstract. Alright. Alright, so this will be uh, covered in foliage later okay. just to let you know where things are gonna go okay now that uh, we've already backgrounded the rocky part and the foliage part I'm gonna go re-background the waters it's similar color here but I think adding more layers will help us achieve that more realistic water look okay uh, or fluid look I'm gonna I don't have to wash my brush because remember that everything is um, connected to each other. The rocks, the water, and the, the leaves, and the reflections. So I don't have to wash my brush out really because we will be doing some reflections anyway. So I'm just going to directly get my blue. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of black and a little bit of yellow. Just a little bit. We don't want it to be too bluish greenish color. Again, more black because we're still doing some depth in the water. Okay, I'm going to add a little bit of white because it's not... Sh okay, perfect. So you can see here, I'm allowing even the yellow colors to be there. Okay, we will definitely... Um, get rid of that sketch line that you see. For now, let's just be okay with what we're doing. Just the waters first. And gradually, those sketch lines will be uh, will be uh, removed. Okay, I'm gonna get my burnt sienna. Add yellow like this and I'm gonna add a little bit of white just for visibility and I'm gonna create some horizontal brush strokes over here on the right side again burnt sienna and yellow okay add white for visibility because we want it to be there we want it to be seen just gonna blend a little. 
Okay, again, burnt sienna over here. So you can see here, I'm just doing horizontal brush strokes. When we finally do the waterfalls, we'll be doing, of course, vertical brush strokes. All right, just like that. Okay, let me check the camera. All right, perfect. We will correct the horizon later. It will make, it will be straighter later. For now, let's just allow things to be as is. I'm gonna grab, dab onto my black and create some rocks. I'm gonna create a big rock right here. This will be the underpainting, okay? This is not the color of the rock. You can do whatever shape of rock that you want for your own painting. Okay, maybe here. I'm gonna add a little bit of brown. Right, just like that, and maybe here. Okay, maybe I'm gonna switch, or oh, no, not really. I'm gonna create some black um, brush strokes right here. This is just to create some depth on the water portion because the the water is actually very shallow. When I say when I say depth, it doesn't mean it's deep. It means we're trying to make the painting look more dimensional. Okay, depth does not talk about um, uh, the length of the deepness. We are talking about uh, not making things look flat. Okay. So I'm gonna be adding some brownie colors together with the black, and I'm doing it quite diagonally. This is to follow the movement of the water falling down this shallow part of the river or waterfalls. Oops, I accidentally grabbed my white. <laughs> okay, it's okay, don't worry. Just paint over it with black or just allow it to be there. Maybe it's meant to be there anyway. Okay, okay now I'm gonna switch my brush. I'm gonna use a smaller brush because I want to create some smaller rocks, okay? Smaller rocks. I hope you can still see the painting. Yeah. It does make sense. I'm gonna get my black and create some tiny rocks over here. You know, I just love how irregular, uh, irregularly shaped our nature is. It doesn't look like square or circle or anything like that. It looks so irregularly shaped, imperfect for the lack of proper word. All right, maybe some rocks that are showing over here. Right. Now I'm gonna get my brown and yellow, just to create this color and maybe white. Okay, maybe this color. All right, this color, okay, light brown. And I'm going to create some texture. This is just preliminary. We'll be using our palette knife to create more um, patterns on the rocks. But observe or try to observe how I'm doing it. I'm very like okay with whatever brush strokes I create as long as... Um, I put on some light pressure only. So just do this first. Okay, now I'm gonna get some 
gray I'm gonna be mixing my white and black and in the same manner I'm just gonna create actually it's still wet but I'm just gonna do wet on wet Okay, just like that. Very lightly. The pressure that I'm putting on my canvas is very light. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of green to give it some like, greeny color. I'm going to add brown. Let's try to create some moss. Okay. Make sure to add brown to the green. We don't want the green to be super green, okay? We want it to look more natural. I keep saying that this is just preliminary. Nothing final here. Okay, go back to black. All right, just like that. Okay. All right. <laughs> okay, now let's create let's create uh some rock detailing, all right? And we'll be using our what? Our palette knife. So get your palette knife now. We're going to leave the rocks for now as is. We're going to go back to that later. For now, let's just move on to the rocky portion. I'll be using the back of my palette knife. Dab into my black and brown and white so you will not mix the colors together but the colors or each of them should be visible as you can see here i'm not really mixing the colors i'm allowing the black the brown and the white to be there without mixing them okay i'm gonna start that let's start with this way okay just randomly spread it spread it like butter I 
I'm gonna get my black, use the back of my palette knife, the same manner. Okay, just like that. Again, let's create some more textures. Okay, and I know it doesn't make sense at this moment, but later it will. I'm gonna use still my palette knife. Let's go back to the rocks since we're at it already. and then let's go back keep going okay, I'm gonna get my white and still I'm gonna use the back of my palette knife I'm allowing other colors to mix it's all right Like so, I'm just playing in here. All right, now I'm gonna use my ordinary brush. Let's leave our palette knife for now. I'm gonna get my black. Let's start creating some details on the rocks. Adding more depth. Some cracks. going to make this area quite darker we'll be we'll be doing a lot of plants right here so don't worry too much if you're not really um, achieving that rocky look later it will so I'm gonna get my gray but I'll be adding some brown so just mix brown and black and then white create some more sharp edges or uneven surfaces
Okay. I'm gonna get my burnt sienna. Just randomly applying some brownie colors. I love doing this one. It's so free, yet uh, we're trying to achieve something. Okay, good. <laughs> I love it. Let's proceed to, let's leave it for now. Okay, let's leave it as is for now. I'm going to go to this part. This is the sky part where some foliage are present. So I'm going to get my yellow. I do have a lot of yellow. And then blue to create some green and then white. I'm going to create some markings to suggest some foliage. As you can see here, I'm just tapping. These are just small details in the background that uh, would suggest what surrounds this waterfall. So there is some sort of forest in the background. Okay. okay, now let's create another shade of green. I'm going to get my blue add some white okay it's like this color add some white and let's make some of this color Okay, I'm going to wash my brush out. I'm going to create a darker green. I'm going to add brown, I mean brown, and then yellow, then black. Let's go back. Okay. Now I'm going to get my brown again and yellow and white. So it's like this color, like skin color. Let's create some background. If you notice, uh, I just did some uh, like abstract in the background. Sometimes abstract makes literal sense, right? Okay. 
because this part of the painting is too far actually that's why we don't have to detail it if it's near then we become more detailed more serious about um, getting the right proportions done but here it is more of just a suggestion of what surrounds this waterfall okay. everything else is in your imagination okay it's left to your imagination Maybe some more green. All right, now that we're still at the greeny color, let's start creating some little grasses or moss that are um, forming on the rocks. So you can see here, it's just about brush strokes. Okay. I'm gonna add a little bit of blue and black and white. More blue, actually. Okay. Like this color. And then blue. And then black, sorry. Black. It's like grayish blue-green. And we will definitely highlight some of this moss or leaves. Let's go back. Just keep going. But don't overdo this leaf or grasses or this step because the rocks should still be rocks. It should not be just leaves and trees. These are just um, accessories, <laughs> if I may call them. These are just accessories to the rocks. They are the consequence of the rocks being wet all the time. That's why leaves are forming. Or leaves are growing, not forming. Okay, like that. Okay, now I'm going to get my yellow. I'm just going to add a little bit of highlight on the leaves. Again, not every part of this will be highlighted to give it more depth. What gives our painting depth is contrast of colors. If everything looks so the same, everything looks flat. Just keep marking it. All right, now I'm gonna get my white. I'm trying to mix it with the colors that I already have on my paintbrush. I'm just gonna make some highlights. I think this is a very easy subject, very easy. We will be adding some brownie colors later because as I've been mentioning in my past videos, 
um, when we are painting nature, there should be some sort of naturalism in there. Meaning, we should paint not only just the beautiful things, but the change in nature that is constantly happening. For example, leaves um, decaying, uh, leaves growing, um, what else? Rocks that are deforming or rocks are, that are looking old, something like that. And speaking of, I'm just going to get my brown, my burnt sienna, and mix it with black. I'm going to start creating those things that I just said, some brownie spots here and there. You can add a little bit of yellow so that you highlight as well some browns. Okay, should not be just dark brown. There should be some sort of light browns, dark browns. Let me check. Oh my gosh, this look this looks nice. Okay, I'm gonna get my black because we need some depth. I think uh I'm losing some of the depth that I want for this painting because I've been doing a lot of foliage. So depth is also those negative spaces in between foliage. Like that. Let's create some irregular markings. Don't worry too much. We will definitely have not this um the same uh result here. Some more detailing. Okay, I'm going to have to add more, a little more rock right here. Just to give it more drama. Okay, we'll go back to this later. I'm going to create some twines. So I'm going to get my burnt sienna and some yellow. Make it quite watery. Am I right? These are called twines? Vines. <laughs> These are vines, not twines, but they can also be called twines if you want. I'll be doing some more foliage on top of those vines. Okay. 
and some highlights. All right, let's leave it for now like that. Let's leave it for now like that. We will definitely go back to that later. Let's go to the waters. That's the most fun part, I think. So I'm gonna get a fairly, like a medium brush like this. Medium is relative. It depends on what size of canvas you have. Okay, so this is medium as to my canvas. Uh, because I'm using A3, so this is not too big, not too small. I'm going to get my blue again, and yellow, and white. More blue. We don't, we don't want it to be super green at the moment. More blue, and more white. You can add a little bit of red, just to tone that color down. And let's try, okay? Okay, we're starting right off in the middle. Okay, now while the paint is still wet, I'm gonna dab onto my blue. Paint the sides. I'm gonna mix the black with the blue so that it's quite dark. Okay, I'm gonna get my yellow plus brown. All right, okay, I'm going to wash my brush out. We're going to dry brush now. So remove the excess water from your paintbrush. I'm going to get my white and mix it with black to make some gray. We're going to dry brush, remove the excess water, and we're just going to do... some almost circular okay this time I'll be doing some diagonal remember we're dry brushing so be a little more gentle than usual Still dry brushing.
All right, now, using the same gray color, we will do the waterfalls. There's a small waterfalls right here. Okay, and then we begin some movement of water. I'm actually enjoying this one. So I'm just using white. I'm not really talking too much, but I'm just using white. So you can see here, and I want you to observe how I'm doing it. I haven't changed the color. If I'm changing, I'll be telling you. It's still white, and we're still dry brushing. Some of the white I'm applying already on the rocks, as you can see. Okay, now I'm going to add a little bit of blue to the white and we're going to spread some of that color on the waters, give it more um, translucence. Okay, I'm going to wash my brush out. 
I'm gonna switch to my smaller brush just to add more depth. I'm gonna get my black. Okay, using black, I'm just gonna go back to some areas to define even more the depth and the separation between things, between things like, um, between, between things, <laughs> I cannot pronounce <laughs> properly. Okay, just like that. Just to add more definition, okay? I'm going to add more depth into the waters, like so. I'm going to get my browns. Actually, it's not depth, but it's sh like shallowness. Okay, but I'm saying depth because depth can refer to the shallowness and to the deepness okay as long as your painting does not look flat some browns and I'm getting some blue colors some yellows and browns okay now i'm just gonna add more details on the rock Gonna add some depth over here. Right. Some details on the rocks.
want to add a little bit of bluey greenish colors on the shallow waters. Some highlights on the waters. All right, just like that. Let me check. Oh, this looks so nice. Oh my gosh. I actually did not expect this. <laughs> I actually did not expect that. Oh my gosh. All right, now I'm going to get my pure white. I think I'm just in the good mood today right i think my mood affects my painting as well like if i'm feeling so good about my day or myself um my painting results or my painting results are more <laughs> like satisfying I'm going to get some gray. I want to gray the, some of the water down to add more depth onto the waters. Let me check again. I want to look at it and admire my painting. <laughs> okay, so I'm going to get my white, okay? But... Okay, I need to wash my brush out because the white is mixing with other colors. I need just pure white. And we're going to do some effect here on the waters. Just to make it more um, like the force of the water is making some... Oh, they go that like sprays little sprays of waters as the waterfalls come down and some pure white And let's highlight now this rock remember we did this rock last because um yeah it's much better to have it there so i'm gonna add a little bit of detailing just like what we did with the other rocks not too complicated. This is absolutely nice. Okay, I'm gonna get my black.
Okay. All right, now let's go back to doing some foliage. I'm gonna get my yellow. I'm gonna try to make some more highlighted portion. For the background, I'm just gonna tap. Because we also want to give it some blurry effect. Okay, I'm gonna mix my yellow with white so that I create more highlights. Maybe some more greens. I love this one. What do you think? Mm. So nice. I'm gonna get my white, create some like patterns on the rocks. These are just a small detailing. You can actually do away with them, but I think small details make a lot of difference. Okay, I'm just gonna lighten a little bit the background so that there's some sort of light going on.
Okay, now I'm going to use my medium brush. I'm going to get my blue, but I'll be watering down my blue just to spread it. Just like that. And brown. Then let's apply some black. Let me check. All right, this is really, really nice. Really nice. Mm -hmm. Don't forget about the negative spaces. I'm gonna get more green, green and yellow, and maybe burnt sienna, just to add more moss. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of bread. This is what you call obsessing <laughs> over detailing. Mm -hmm. Right, I'm applying some brown colors. That's actually what I want.
Again, abstract in the background just to give it some sort of light. And using my black, I'm just going to spread some thin layer of black so that it is more dimensional looking okay. All right. also here Some highlights on the rock. All right. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. And I'm just um I'm just so into it. I'm adding more depth here and there. Depth and shallowness, I mean, okay? This is a shallow water. So um, when I say depth, again, just to let everybody be reminded, um, I don't say deep. I mean, 
I mean, I don't mean deep. I just mean dimensional. All right, I love this one. Okay, so I'm gonna sign this now because I'm already obsessing too much. Okay, I'm gonna sign this now. Or maybe not. I'm just gonna apply more. Okay, <laughs> I'm enjoying it, as you can tell. So I'm going to sign this now. I'm just going to use a pointy brush. And I'm going to use my, I think, white. Okay. But it's mixing with other colors, so it's all right. I'm going to sign right here. And we're done. We're done, guys. I hope you enjoy this one. I think this is a much longer uh, painting tutorial, but I really enjoyed it and I, I really didn't mind uh, the time. I just wanted to come up with a beautiful painting and I really like it. All right. So I hope you enjoy this one and I hope you do this one as well. If you like this video, let me know in the comment section below what you think about this painting. And if you're painting along with me, if you painted along with me in the past, let me know as well in the comment section below. Share this with your friends on your social media accounts and let them know that I exist and see you in my next video. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm. <laughs> Love you!